Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Sound Strategy Network, www.sound-strategy.net. We are almost live from the year 1944, and as you can see, we are live from the wonderful little village known as Simwa here. And what we've got an American versus a Wehrmacht game here for you, and it uh, is going to be a good one. This is one of the other episodes, uh, one of the other replays that was submitted for our August contest of best high skill replay. It features Sepaka and Sefa. And before we go any further, let me introduce myself. I am Bridger. I am the host for this evening, and joining me, as always, is my gold-plated co-host, Rogers. Welcome to the show. Woohoo! Gold-plated! Uh, Battlefield 3 says hello, by the way. <laughs> okay. And uh, joining us also is the <clears throat> very British co-host, Sumbloke. Welcome to the show, sir. Hello there. Thanks for having me on. That was such a letdown after my upper crust. <clears throat> I'm going to have to go back <laughs> to the drawing board on that. Crikey, mate! Ah, it didn't work either. So, oh, let's no. jump into the game. <laughs> As I said, we've got uh, American versus Wehrmacht. I'm going to be watching from the American side. These guys are watching from God knows where. We'll just jump right into it. We're at the five-second mark. Unpausing in five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. And while we're uh, waiting for the beginning of the game to get started here, I'll just mention that um, we are... Uh, you know, as, as we posted in the update there, we're going to be getting these out a little bit less often than we did in the past. Uh, we're going to try for one or two a month if we can. Uh, and that is simply because uh, it's very busy where I am at work now, and I don't want to burn out and stop doing them completely. So, uh, just to facilitate and make our lives easier, we're going to try and slow it down a little bit, make sure that we still have something to put out for you every once in a while. Also, you can check out our new Guild Wars 2 show on the same channel on YouTube. We're uploading those on a weekly basis, except for last week because of the terrible blizzard of Halloween of 2011. If you don't live in the Northeast, you don't know what it's like. <laughs> so, looks like we've got a two engineer, two pile start for both teams here. Both going for pretty much the same thing. They're both going for the plus 10 fuel, plus 10 munitions right next to their base. I think they're talking about a game that they played earlier. Oh, I'm hoping they're not talking about this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should have gone T4 instead of Pumas. <laughs> and Sipak is like, wait, what? Huh? How did, how did he get there already? All right. Teleportation, my friend. Teleportation. I guess so, Bloke, what are they? Uh, what is uh, Sefa doing right now? Over in his base. Um, he's capping with some Volks on the strap point, going to the middle, and both his pioneer squads are going out to the nation points uh, either side of his base. Hmm. Good. Interesting like that the rifles are going down to the right there instead of out into the middle. Uh, it is kind of strange that he's not mirroring the cap <coughs> going for the strap point. I'm really glad to see that uh, Sefa went and got his uh, munitions point on the right-hand side. That's an often ignored point until later in the game by mm -hmm. a lot of players. I'm really happy to see that he got that because that, those, that plus 10 will add up and help him out early game, definitely. All right, here we have our first engagement around the strap point on the island here. Mm-hmm. As they slowly encounter each other, the Americans obviously have a superior position behind the cover there, and Sefa wisely backing down. Yeah, he, we do have a second uh, bolt squad coming up the boat now. Nice, he's building, he's building sandbags. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice. Anything you could do, we can do better. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what that is. Your cover isn't mobile. You gotta wonder. How is it they carry, you know, what has that got to be? I don't know, 300 pounds of sand with them? Bags of holding, Bridger. Oh, of course. That answers. <laughs> but if a you wizard actually notice, it, I think that. they have shovels in the back of their packs. They're actually just getting bags out and shoveling dirt into them or something. Probably. So then bags of holding is still the answer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow, this is a lot of firepower here. And I don't think the Americans are going to be able to hold, even if they do get in that house. There's not much firepower to be able to shoot out of the house. Ah, uh, get on the right side where they can only shoot out of one window. They're trying to chew up the rifles rather than worry about the engineers, it seems. Wow, both squad's going to go down. Oh, and there it goes. You know, I would have really liked to see that engagement. He really shouldn't have pushed up his Volk so far. Like, look, he could lose this battle here. Wow, that's... But he might maybe he just might win it. get the Americans. He's trying to chase him. Oh, he should have started to chase him a little earlier. There goes Tom Hanks. <laughs> but, uh, I really think if he would have just... Ooh, this Volk squad is in trouble here. Really in trouble. 
God, that was a oh. very even engagement. Look at this. Both sides lost a lot of guys. I was gonna say, I was pretty sure. There we go. Yeah, the the, the Pios are gonna win this, just barely. Mm -hmm. See, if he would have, if you, yeah, if he would have come up the right side and just stood behind the bridge for heavy cover and fired at him from range, he would have forced him off, and he would have taken much less damage. Um, nice mine right there on the bridge. Ah, oh, that is good. But he's got another rifle squad coming in to push him off immediately. We have a sniper out from Sefa, actually. Mm. Nice. Which uh, set the. Um... What's his name? Sai Packer or mm. Si Packer or something. Actually, has another two rifle squads out on the field. Um, just engaging that pirate squad down on the uh, island. But just, <laughs> he's found the mine. Mm, yeah, he saw him laying it, so if yeah. he was paying attention, he's going to get minesweepers or something. Sniper fires? Sniper's about to get found. Ooh. And. Sniper's in a good spot. He can play hide and seek now that he's got the wolves yeah. for backup. Oh! The uh, retreating Pyre squad gets cut down by the rifle squad, yeah. which was by the sniper. Um, Pyre's so, uh, pushed off the north by some flame engines. Ooh, flame oh, engines! Very nice. I didn't even notice that. The Pyos, though, I was watching that fight earlier, and they were in the light cover of the bushes, and the engineers were out of the cover, mm. just standing in the. And then the Pyos just dove out of cover towards mm. the engineers, and then started losing the fight. Like really AI, really. <laughs> oh, yeah. they're gonna run into a mine on the right here. Very nice, very nice Infantry mine company placement. has been selected. Yes, it has, and they went uh, defensive operations, so that's left side, isn't it? Here's a nice new common uh, thing that I've seen a couple of players do on their fuel, at least the one in the north there. You see the barbed wire? That way, mm. uh, unless you have engineers or the ones that are coming around here, often rifles will be the ones coming around. They really have to go in within range of your bunker in order to get to the, to the fuel, so that's a really nice thing to do. Unless, oh, yeah. of course, the enemy comes at you with engineers. engineers. <laughs> <laughs> Playing his moot. And we've got Minesweepers up by Zephyr on this prize squad in the south, and Sniper. Mm. And early VP... Oh, go on. Oh, go ahead, Loke. I was going to say early VP caps for both sides. Very nice. So it's going to force Sefa to start making some moves here for the VP play. And he's scouting it out with his sniper in the middle. The battle has moved to the middle here, if you guys notice that. He's projecting onto the... Saipaka is projecting onto Sefa's fuel. He's sending more reinforcements to make sure that that fuel does not get uh, capped back for long by Sefa. But uh, it was very interesting to see the early engagements on the right-hand side. I really never have seen that on uh, Samoa so early. It normally always seems like it's always middle over the VP and then uh, the left side as well. Yeah. So, Unfortunately, that machine gun went in the wrong direction, mm. and now he's going to lose his fuel again, I think. Yeah. Even, I mean, this would be... Oh, he's putting down mines? What the hell? Sandbags. sandbags. Oh, sandbags. I see. Yeah, these Volks are outgunned. He's going to need to build another MG to cover his fuel, I think. Is he? What's he's he building right now? Up. Nice. I think he's just using the Volks to do some damage and stall them a little bit until the sniper can yeah. get there. Okay, we're going to have a big pin here uh, on the right-hand yeah, side. Definitely. Watch this MG in the building. It's going to... Oh, he's splitting them. Very nice. Very good split there before the MG can reposition. wonder if he has grenades. I haven't seen That's any That's a pretty yet. heavy building. Yeah, he's going to chew up those rifles before he gets killed by the other squad. May oh, yeah. he swapped it. He did. He's keeping them both suppressed. Nice. And here comes a Volk squad to assist. Very nice. And with a sniper and an MG, he pushed him off the fuel, and he's already repositioning the MG. Very good MG play by Sefa so far, keeping his MGs always where they need to be. You can see the rifles, though, still chewing up that engineer from heavy cover. Or, sorry, the, That's, the machine gun from heavy cover. That is very good cover there behind that little truck. Sam, what is that coming up in the Allies' base? That is a motor pool. Fast motor pool. Very nice at the... Seven, seven, almost eight minute mark. Very nice. And you'll notice uh, Sepika's got what is it? Is ready. wait a minute. He had four. Mm. Oh, there it is. Sorry, the last one's down here. He has four rifle squads, which is one more than I've seen Normal. in the meta yeah. game previously. But I think people notice that an extra rifle squad doesn't chew up your your upkeep that much, and it's pretty nice to have. Yeah, he <laughs> did go for a. Oh, they have. They're in deep trouble there. So that one they... up. The, the gameplay is very similar from both players. Like they've both got an armored car out. They're both supporting with infantry. They're both it's... laying mines. Yeah, both laying sandbags, some wire. <laughs> He's got enough for an off map. He's just probably waiting for the right time to deploy it. Machine gun goes into a building, for example. That's going to be stuck doing the mm. setup and takedown animation for long enough that it might be 
able to get him with the first shot of a howitzer off map. Yeah. The MG wiggle down cycle. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. More engineers being built by Saipaka. And we've got another Puma coming out. Interesting. Um, I wonder if he's going to get the cannon on one of the Pumas. He's going to bait him right into the MG. Look at this on the right, guys. Use the sniper to pull him in. Really uh oh, flamers are going to be a big problem though. The sniper is not in a position to shoot him now. Vet one on the flamers. Casualties that that MG has gone. Oh. oh, nice. Got him out the back door. Yeah. Yep, always good to. Oh, he's got stormtroopers cloaked right there. Ambush them. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, man. Soldier oh, from my. TF2 just showed up and taught that engineer what's what. <laughs> The worm has turned, gentlemen. I have a Panzer Shrek. <laughs> I am not a crook. And it looks like he was trying to get them on the retreat there, or did he just want to force the? He was he he forced the MG off with that, and he also destroyed a mine in process. So it wasn't that. Did he was... just put a mine right next to the other guy's mine without even knowing yep. it? <laughs> That's that's gonna be a big boom. Yeah, friend. it is. Wow, that MA driver does not know how to shoot forward properly. Ah, uh, Sefa gets some veterancy. I mean, he's hurting in fuel, though. He should probably OP his fuel at this point. What's his fuel situation? Uh, he's at 60 in the bank and 28 income. 60 in the bank over here also. I think that he uh, pull out. He's not building anything over here that I can see. He hasn't oh, got any supply yard MA. upgrades. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Sniper's still alive. He's doing a good job of preserving that. He's still got... Both of his Volks, he's got a second MG, and his Storms. I don't think either player has lost a squad yet. Uh, uh, the we had squad. four rifle squads out earlier for Saipaki. He's only got three left now. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Players have died. Will be taken Berlin by Christmas. Uh, Puma being engaged by MA to the north. That Puma's not going to win. No. Just if he gets stickies, get out of there. Nice block. Yeah, definitely. Mm. He could get it. He's got to move before he gets a damaged engine. Mine in the middle. Ooh. Wow, did that blow up? No, it didn't blow up both of them. That would have killed both squads. He's pretty mm. lucky. He's right tank top depot? Of wow, no one expects the tank depot. He's got 36 fuel, and he's got uh, plenty of income right now. Do we have a stug or anything coming out? Well, nope. Oh. But we do have an M10. Yeah, that's bad news. That's going to kill both the Pumas real easily. Oh, wow. Not only does he have an M... I didn't realize he had the M10 coming out, too. I just thought he said Tank Depot. Tank Depot's coming. He's, uh, <laughs> he's gonna run over all the infantry in the world. Oh, yeah. No! He will not! The Germans will stop that BS from happening. I have faith in Sefa. It's a passive crush ability. It's a feature. Don't worry. No! <laughs> and, Can't and happen. Uses it's treads. It's super effective. <laughs> It doesn't it doesn't make me feel any better, even when you put it in <laughs> terms of the Pokemon. <laughs> but uh, let's take a look at the VPs here. Actually, uh, the Germans hold the center and the right, but they that has not been the case for most of the game. They are down mm. about 390 to 460. Interesting. Yep. These Volks are going to find out what it means to have a crush sandwich. Um, I'm going to get murdered here. Very careful defense on both sides. They're very, very cautious about moving their Mine but the graveyard. Ooh. Nice. Get the bar. <laughs> Worth it! <laughs> <laughs> but I think uh, Sefa with the cloaked storms is going to be the deciding factor in one of these battles if he uses it right. Oh, no! Oh, M10 surprise. That sniper should not have been laying down on top of mines with an M8. <laughs> <laughs> in in the area. That would be very bad. Yeah, that Puma had a bad surprise. Hmm. Team in the north, that is. Oh, oh here we go. Shreks, get ready. It hit the mine. Shrek it up. Whoa. Go, go, go. It's going to hit the stupid car. Oh, wow. One of them missed entirely. That was just oh, terrible. God. I don't think that was a very good placement on the off map. Uh, I think he was kind of desperate to... Ooh. Force the storms back, but it did not help. Oh. There he goes flying. Very nice. And down. 
Folk squad about to go down in the north, and they are done almost. Losing ground. Wow! Oh, he wasn't paying attention. Yep. They're going. Enemy unit. They're down. not going. <laughs> <laughs> I got a second storm oh, troop. I didn't even see we had a second storm squad in. Oh no! <laughs> no! Here we go. No! <laughs> I can't watch. Hey, Phil, do you see that okay. guy out there? They worked okay. I want you to run <laughs> over him with your trades. Well, yeah, pro tip. When an M10 tries to run over your storms, uncloak them. They move way too slow to get out of the way when they're cloaked. I think the M10's been driven by NASCAR drivers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ghost of Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> well, they do Travel go back in, in time to mow down Nazis. I think we've got a hit sitcom <laughs> on our hands. <laughs> yeah, I'd watch it. NASCAR Nazis. He still doesn't have a Krieg, so he hasn't had the ability to get any... We've got a... Is that a Sherman? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he still hasn't had a pack come out. He could really use a pack to deal with some of this long range, but... Um, he really needs it. Because the Shreks are uh, they're just sticking to one side of the map, and it worked out pretty well because uh, Saipaka drove the, the, the M8 into the lines, essentially. He didn't know that there was a Shrek squad there until it was too late, but... It just seems like uh, Saipak is quite good with his vehicle awareness. We've seen that in the north. How many kills does that sniper have? Uh, 26. 26. 26. He's basically 27. killed, what, six squads over? Or yeah, four we have squads much. over? We have some phase-shifting Germans here coming up. <laughs> oh, man. Scary. And it's a Sherman surprise. Oh, this Sherman's going to have a bad day. Here we go. <laughs> four Shreks. <laughs> Um, six and three. Nope, only three. Composition B is uh, well. Troops can only enough to kill about a hundred tanks. I wouldn't worry about it. That middle BP has gone, has changed hands about six times now. Yeah, but it's back in the hands of the Americans, and that 360 is ticking down. Mm. I like how that Puma is just staring uh, longingly at the ten munition point, like I that wish it I cannot could. capture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I oh, have a we've... vehicle. I could bring the stuff to him. Oh, yeah. now I'm the, gonna uh... point out. There's an American medic on the field. What? Where's Ooh. he going? Way it's back here, it's... huh? Yep, right by the town square. And here come the Shreks. The Germans are after one of our. Quiet, Helmut. Watch are for your going... stepping. Are they going for a sneak attack on the American bar squad? Because that would be quite I a thing. I think so. Oh, they're doing the uh, storm dance. I saw that. He can't decide what he wants to do with them. <laughs> Risky so maneuver or building, back the die. heck out? Mm, this could be brutal here. Oh, uh, as long as the mine. medic doesn't reveal them by accident. <laughs> oh. Screw the Geneva Convention! We are firing. <laughs> We're losing a munitions point. It's simply the most optimal thing to do right now. I'm sorry, medics. <laughs> Just sorry to medics. Wow, so they, they took all of their forces up north. That plus 10 munitions means a lot to them. A lot more than the middle, apparently. A lot of them more than medics. Oh, well, they'll get that paper, purple heart later. Mm. What do we got here? Still no stugs, or... I think an officer would really turn... The... Oh my god, we have an on-map 105 just completed. Oh boy. That's we've got a Panzer command up here, and we've got 1,000 manpower. Okay, please build lots of Knights Cross or something. Yeah. How far is your Tiger bloke? He's got two points flashing and he's already got uh, studs. Ooh, so, so one more or two? No, what is it? It's one more. Or three? I think it's one more. I remember when um, it was like. You three have or four. a Panther on the build. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> where is it? There it is. I love the way you say Panther and he goes, ooh, Panther. Ooh. And there's a stud on the field as well. Ooh. Ah, stud. Stud would be nice. Stud does lots of damage now. Stud. Yep. Say hello to the big brother. And Americans grabbing the center VP again. That howitzer's going to allow them to really control the VP. What do you guys think about the tier three usage so far? I mean, he's basically only used Pumas. Maybe Nebel. Wait, maybe one Nebel would be good. Yeah, Nebels mm. are good. Especially with the amount of, like, cloaked units that he has that he could use to spot for the Nebel. That's true. Wow, that American squad yeah. almost went down to the Sniper and the Puma together. <coughs> that Sniper must Enemy have shell shot. Oh, oh, first shot! Very nice. Second shot almost killed that armored car. It almost got both of them. 
every could chase once after in a while, it. Every he, once in a while, yep. that off-map howitzer pays off. It'll work out. He needs veterancy. The German needs veterancy on his infantry really badly. He's got 58 fuel, 59 fuel. Here comes a panzer! And he's... So he could be saving for another Panzer IV to go with it. A Panther and a Panzer IV are not bad combo, especially if you get them veterancy on them. Ooh, that MG nearly walked into a shell then. Yikes. Yep. Did. Yeah. Pop Popping health on him. Here we go. Here's a Sherm. Oh no! Is he gonna make it? He made it. Uh, gentlemen, we have a Stub 42 in the southern half of the map, inbound to the American base. If you look on the uh, right hand side, you will see a roasted and, uh, and machine gun. Uh, these engineers are very good at what they do. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's going to the American base. The, the Stub is going for the base. It's like, I see you, Howitzer, uh, I'm coming for you. I think it's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> Sneaky! Let's see what happened in here. The Panther is distracting all the armor in the middle. The Sherman is getting destroyed by Shrex. This is a huge turnaround. Sticky bomb in the wheel. Oh, no. The, st the still got damaged engine, but it's still going to get two or three shots off here. Easy. That here did a go. lot of damage to it. Look at that. It brought it down to a... Yeah. That panther just ran over two riflemen. Yeah. If it did, I'll shoot my gun. It could have only run over one block. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. He's hitting things. the barracks by accident. <sighs> He's trying to micro it better. He needs one more good solid shot. Just explains the oh! Now he needs to destroy the gun. Oh, it's not destroyed yet! <laughs> Quickly, fire faster! Our engine is on fire! I can't see. It's, it's still, still got... Oh, no! Can they handle the heat? Fire! It's gone! Did it. <laughs> did it. The sacrificial stuff. Uh, nice. That's a huge coup. That was another circle of life, Bridger. <laughs> Holy uh, crap. Check out the north munition point. Simba. The poor Pyre. <laughs> His friends all dying around him. <laughs> That panther survived <coughs> the middle, though. That's good. Yeah, check out the Germans building the drive-through window so the Puma can order some French fries. What? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> I would like a number bunker? three. Is a number two on the side and some Coca-Cola, please? And don't forget to the sauerkraut this time. <laughs> oh dear. I Listen, bet it's gonna be a repair bunker. Listeners in Germany. <laughs> we might, we might <laughs> have to in the entire population. <laughs> Oh, well, they lost the war. They have to deal with it. <laughs> History is written by the winners, as they say, but... The sniper's, like, way to by... man it. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. No, spot. I kid. I love the German people. Very nice bait-and-switch there. That was good. The Germans are better than the French. That, that sniper <laughs> is at 37 kills now. I was expecting a much more super superior number. <laughs> Could it be Hans number two? He's definitely unlocked the ballistic scope. <laughs> He's using auto aim. Yeah. When he gets the IR scope, that's when everybody's doomed. Yeah, that's when it's all. <laughs> that's basically hacks. Like, that's hacks IRL. For all intents and yeah. purposes. <laughs> double pin. Ooh. Double M10. Mine went off on the island. At last. <laughs> it's been there for it's like a, half an hour. That bar squad. They're the ones that got hit by the mine earlier. <laughs> They're all terrified. They're like, oh, what do we do? I think that BAR is cursed. Probably. They were in building actually where the MG is now, which um, they got hit by artillery earlier as well. <laughs> the squad leader is having a stare down with the five fuel. He's like, I see you. Let me ask you a question. The American player can get Rangers, but should he? Our front lines are collapsing. <laughs> yes. Probably. Sir. Oh, the Panther is never mind. He's got three rifle squads. I don't think he needs Rangers, honestly. We got crowd troops Oh, I'd say up. I'd say actually a uh, oh. an AT gun would do him quite well here. So I've just the rifle squad in the north. They were laying a mine. Something happened to them, and they started laying a mine again. And and now they're at three people and zero health. Hmm. And I think my game just froze. Oh no, there it goes. There we go. I just paused for a second. No, just time froze for a second.
Yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> that's the way to look at it. Sniper's at it again. He's almost broke 40 kills. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, get out of there. Enemy the cursed yeah. squad has fallen. <laughs> and apparently they shot the bar out of his hand because it's gone. That's just cruel. It's not actually if you zoom in. Oh, wait, sorry. That's the ah. That's a car that was there. Yeah. Oh, this poor, poor pirate squad in the hall. <laughs> yep, they're money. <laughs> it's okay, they're only M10s. Plus 10 crash. Go, go, go. They can't catch him when they're retreating. Unless maybe they're on the road. I remember when Opposing Fronts came out and retreating was broken and you could still run over and glider crush retreating squads. <laughs> oh, the glider was ridiculous. Jesus you could Christ. glider crush everything. I still have nightmares. It was worse than the, than the strafing run. You could take out Pumas by crashing a glider into them. You oh, that? rifle squad going down here. Oh, man. He just ran Unless into the freaking they Durenberg don't shoot. Look what at the that. Hell? They didn't shoot at all! Oh! There you go! Give something! <laughs> One guy got soldiered. Man, this is just... We look at the map control. It's split in half, essentially. Yeah, the Americans really want that... that... that, uh, top point there. The, the it's really munitions. good that they're denying... What, basically, it's a diversion. Uh, he's constantly having to send units to the north We're to either fight off the points. Americans or just cap the point. It's a good move. It really is. It, it makes the, his opponent multitask. And it also cuts off his pop cap because he's got a timer available. Yep. And, and he doesn't doing... have the pop cap for it? He's on 41 out of 54. Ooh. He's building another panther and getting vet. On he's sending panther. another oh, Pio squad north. God, it's an M10 that... party. Look at this. My God. They're and lined up gun. and ready to go. They're going to crush everything. I love them they're all gonna... synchronized in the animations. Dear God, they're going to freaking... Triangle crush every unit on the map. Oh. One's away. Yeah, they're going to counter. The <laughs> he peeled off and went to the. <laughs> Man, if they were smart, they'd put a mine like over here at the ramp that goes up there yeah. before they started capping. But who said pioneers were smart? Uh -oh. They need Sefa to tell them everything to do. Nice, we have veterancy um, on armor. Yep. Yep. You should really start salvaging the wrecks, that would be nice. Bundle grenade going out on the rifle oh squad. Oh my god. They are gone! Charities. Wow. That was a, oh, yeah, the rifle squad grabs a veteran seat, though. Yep. Another bundle grenade. I'd like to see some assault grenade Good usage. Now oh, they're in trouble grenade. getting flamed up. See ya. Time, Time, Time for the M10s track. to come. Oh Shit. god! Oh, they're looking at the Panzer Shrek presence like, I wish we didn't have this flamethrower. <laughs> they're building wire there so no one can get to the Shrek easily. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, God, that's beautiful. Spiteful bastards. You know what I wanted to know? Can you destroy the weapon when it's on the ground? Because they look like they had health. Mm -hmm. in some yeah, no. you, I think you could do that with MGs and mortars, though. Mm -hmm. You definitely could do it with MGs and mortars. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. This pew is like, I wish I could go over there. <laughs> yeah, he keeps moving around like he's restless. <laughs> Come on, boss, let me go. I can get him, boss. Let me go. Two Panthers, double vet. We've got machine gunners on top. Man. Perhaps that's why the Puma has not been so useful. It's because the driver is from Boston and the Germans are in the in the <laughs> back seat. Like, you need to turn around. What you're doing? I know where I'm going. Well, no, if he's from Boston, he can't get through the crowd of Occupy Boston. <laughs> God. I keep up with news. <laughs> another another Pyro squad to the north. <laughs> now it's a diversion for the Americans. It's not even a diversion for the Germans. They don't care. They send one guy. And These guys somebody shows are up. definitely getting their exercise. They're heroes. They're losing ground. We have to go over there again? Why? I don't understand. It's like the Onion when they had the the, the Call of Duty 4, de <laughs> the yeah. Modern Warfare 4. <laughs> See that? Battle oh, the, 4. Now the team has moved forward. Ooh. Someone got the Shrek. They have a squad that got a Shrek, I think. Yep, they're moving north. That too. What was that? What was another that? M10? Another M10. Dude, they're going to kill that panther. Oh, they have two panthers. Never mind. Yeah, they do have two <laughs> panthers, but four M10s are still going to reduce a panther to nothing in almost no time. 
thing is, oh, they don't have heavy ambush. crush, and there's a limited amount of maneuverable space, so the Germans have the advantage, especially with two Shrek squads with three Shreks. Oh, here we go. Panther actually got a kill there. Oh, God, don't run them straight in. Go down. Oh, wow, they're going to run into the... Oh, my goodness. Our supply line us. The crush is happening. The squishing is happening. <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> he got out of there. <laughs> they got out of there. They're okay. Oh my he got God. crushed by his own guy, kind of. But Ooh, the hard few hard. Shreks that he did launch is going to yeah. allow the Panthers to clean up here. Yeah, there goes the boss market Puma. I don't know. One Panther. Oh, wow. Oh, just run AP rounds, AP rounds. <clears throat> he probably already has AP rounds on him. He's sticking. It's a Tansa. Wow. Gone. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That one Panther's trying desperately to run. <laughs> Back away! <laughs> oh, it would have been hilarious if there were another mine there, huh? That would have been terrible. <laughs> That's why he checked it with infantry earlier. <laughs> he knew he was going to need to back his panther up. Pull him into the machine gun. Hey-oh! There's another stick. Oh, no. Here come the uh -oh. And here comes another thing from the Berlin Zoo. We have a tiger out. Oh, there was a there was a, sh uh, a mine right there. Oh, Destroyed engine. It was a sticky bomb. It was a sticky bomb. Oh, it was a sticky that got him. It was, yeah, the life is quite Nice sticky. micro, look at that. Circle, 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 circle. And the tiger's Counter. like, oh, oh. oh God. Vet 2, baby, get him out of there. Retreat that sucker. Look at that, very nice. Whoa. He did lose two M10s, but for the price of killing two Panthers, Vet 1, mm. very, very worth it. Look at the MG in the building. The MG just walks up to it. Uh oh. It's artillery. Tiger back, Tiger back. How did that one wayward shot hit a Shrek? Nice, he killed two Shreks on his This could be the end of the M10s. Nope, they fire at the ground, okay. Oh, that. Man, they really didn't nice. like that Panther wreck. Yeah, the German pioneers have uh, recapped the entire north. Oh, finally. <laughs> and the south. Another M10 was built. But it is working for him, to be honest. If he loses another Shrek here, this is bad. Oh my god. What goodness. the hell blew up that mine? These four guys are like, why? What are you doing? Yes, turn and fire one more Shrek. <laughs> Get to the chopper! <laughs> Seriously, go! <laughs> oh, here we go! <laughs> Hydraulic tiger coming to the rescue. <laughs> and missing. Yeah, it's definitely... Oh, boy. Uh -oh. It's backup time. <laughs> the Shreks are gone. Holy shit. They're All advancing. The They're swarming. It's like a wolf pack. <laughs> M10 Wolverine coming at you. He's got a nice right... Only frontal armor. He said, yeah. no, you will not pass. <laughs> you yeah, shall like... not. Oh, this until is... they do. Then, then they will pass. Fine. They will not pass right up until they do. And then the Shreks will come and save them. South really fast. The Shreks are like, hey, what do you do? God, you lost it. Oh. Sector under attack. Is this sticky bomb gonna kill the tiger? Do -do -do. Oh! <laughs> wow! The last oh. shot from the M10, the last sticky bomb from the rifle squad, they both die the as their place. quarry dies. Uh, uh, can we say that everything dies? I think yep. so. The machine gun's about to die. The medic is still pulling die. more guys. Where's he going? Everything dies. They're hitting one of the medic stations. Trying to it's take behind the hedge now. Ah, there uh, it is. I'm going to point out, the VPs did change at hands massively. Um, oh, up top? Throughout that. They're hitting one of our yeah, we've got 317 to 228. Wow, that medic is still alive after taking two Panzer Shreks to the face. <laughs> what? Jason. Oh, that's harsh. Look at him. Clearly, that is. Um, it's a gun in Scorpio, for real. That Look medic is also yeah. Tom today. Hanks because it's Forrest Gump pulling yeah. his buddy back to the main station. Oh. I thought our rifle killed him, not the four Shreks he was by. They're hitting one of our forward placements, trying to take our territory. All I'm going to say is back and forth. Pyos with minesweepers versus an OP. Everything he still hasn't built another. <laughs> He still hasn't built another howitzer in his base, you notice that? They're trying to kill another medic. And hitting each other with Shreks. Oh, the M10 says no. Oh! What is that? What kind of ridiculous physics defying nonsense?
nonsense was that? Territory. Have those guys ever heard of inertia? No. This was the Second World War. They didn't Enemy have that stuff. Down. Honestly, I think that the M10s are from the Highway Patrol with the way yeah. they drive. My God. Salvaging of wrecks going on of M10s. Everything is dead. Everything. Yeah, but I think one tiger for basically all of the American stuff at the time <laughs> was a pretty good trade. Cause it, yeah, but, I mean, they thing. killed all the Panthers, so I think it was a fairly even manpower True. and fuel um, uh, exchange. VPs finally traded sides, and now the Americans have the initiative. Oh, God, oh, they're laughing under MG42 fire. Hello. <laughs> if you look at the, um, the Axis entrance to their base, um, there's another cursed bar on the floor. Oh, God. Yeah, they're all staying away from it, even the even the <laughs> like, no, if you're not going near that. Oh, the Panzer Jack squad. From the Americans, with 13 kills. Wow, so F has map control right now. He's really been pushing them back. <laughs> Looks like our friend the sniper got killed somewhere and all that. I missed it. Oh. <laughs> I was somewhere, yeah. Just give me a rifle. I think he died when the five M10s were rushing the Tiger. I think he did, actually. I think he got run over. It, this, it, it was like of a pit course he got run over. That's the only <laughs> way an M10 can kill a sniper. Let's squish. Come More mine. Seen M10 snipe snipers before? It's happened. It has. Not as much as AT guns. Oh, yeah, but they fixed that. Our work is done here. Seventeen pounder for the win. <laughs> hmm. I've just realised something. If you look at where the tank leap is in his base, technically the, the unit will spawn off the map. Yeah. yeah. It. Spawns on the side and has a hell of a time getting out of there. <laughs> so this this brief pause in the middle of the game brought to you by Tales of Tyria. <laughs> Visit us now. Actually, there is one thing that I can say. Um, while I that guy, did that guy get revealed by the mine? He did. Yes, he did. <laughs> oh, that's a, don't tell me we've got mines and radios now. Hey, this is Joe the Mine. Reinforcements. <laughs> we, got, we got stormtroopers coming in. You should probably check it out. Who is this? I'm the, I'm the anti-personnel mine that you laid a few hours ago. We got stormtroopers right near me. They almost stepped on me. I'll try and kick them out if they come close. Don't worry. <laughs> I knew it was a good idea to attach that radio to the mine that we planted in the ground. <laughs> yeah, a day later, that guy is committed. <laughs> and then they release him. Bob, I'm sorry, you were right. <laughs> That radio well, you provided us allowed us to hear the Germans as they passed by the mine. <laughs> what comes after all the allies? An off-map combat group with radios wow, and a mortar. Wow, came in the off-map? What? They, yeah, they do now. <laughs> <laughs> AT gun and rangers, not a bad... Uh, the Zig and a mortar. Mm -hmm. forming on the right here, pushing out what is going on? Allies are down. It's just like a mass of stormtroopers versus another mass of infantry. Where oh, is triple fat. Look at the harshly. Oh! Wow, that tiger shot killed three people. Oh! Everything's dead. Okay, the, the squad's still alive. I thought it killed the whole squad. But the uh, <laughs> the panther got hit by oh, like three mine. or four bazooka shots, and it's got no damage, basically. That tiger fires depleted uranium shells again. Those storms charging that M10 just walked over the mine. Joe Ooh, the mine yeah, has failed. Yeah, the AT gun. Very oh, nice. there it goes. <laughs> the mine was waiting for the tiger to pass by so we could do basically no damage. <laughs> and they're vet three now. This is trouble. This is trouble, trouble. And he hit Blitz Blitzkrieg, counted a sticky in the mock. Oh, that 18 gun had a bad day. Oh. Wow. Oh, get the that. The Germans have the initiative again. <laughs> except in the north where the uh, flame engineers are fighting flame <laughs> pioneers. They're blitzed and running away faster. Oh. What is this mine, this mortar gonna do? Drop some smoke so the Americans can get close to fire a sticky? Hey, that's not a bad idea. It's gonna damage. I was gonna be sarcastic about it, but that actually could work. <laughs> oh, two curse pass on the floor. Scary. Wow. He almost lost a Shrek squad. Look at that. Yeah, ooh. Oh, oh rear armor hit on the Panther! Yep. <laughs> the mortar landed just in the right spot. Never mind. I will never mock you again, Mr. Mortar. I'm sorry. <laughs> the tiger. <laughs> oh. He just hit the tiger, too! <laughs> Damn, that guy's got a good eye. 
<laughs> How did he even see it? He didn't, because there's no spotters. He just told him to fire into the fog of war, and he's like, Yes, sir, Captain. I'll get him for you. Do you know what? He's probably been, he's probably an ex-Marine called Eugene Sledge or something like that. Yeah. He is not part of the short bus brigade. No. <laughs> well, the blood bucket. This low health armor is very dangerous for Sephir right now. Mm. Cloak Storm's trying to stay invisible. Too late. Too late. Missed bundled nade. They're going to get murdered here. Look at that. Chase this isn't Quake. There's no rocket jumping here. The mortar tried to get him, too. I know. That guy's really on his uh, tippy toes. He's paying attention. Man, why do they keep turning around? Just sprint in one direction, you <laughs> One of them stopped like, I'm not I'm not waiting for you. <laughs> More mind to go. I'm going to point out, look at the north munition point again. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a Shrek party. That's all he's got in his Shrek squads. It's just two guys with Shreks. It's two guys hanging out with Shreks. Fully repaired Tiger. Going to run over a mine, maybe. Nope, missed. Two guys hanging out. Drinking a beer, firing a giant rocket launcher, running away. <laughs> it's not gay at all. Sounds like a good night out. Oh no. One of the pious squads picked up a cursed bar. Oh god, they're gonna die. Where are they? Where are they? That's the bear, that's all you. Hmm. So, uh, it's good to, the left side's changing hands again. Uh, Tiger is gonna respond to those rifles. They're just gonna retreat. Artillery at middle? Yep. Where is it? There. On the MG. On the second lens. Oh, the Pyo. That was the cursed Pyo squad. Did it die? One of them died. Nice. The one carrying the bar. His friend yeah. picked it up and ran. <laughs> Whoa, he's running his own rifles into it. Why is, is that guy crawling? Where is he going? Um. He's gonna go all the way! That's not how that works. <laughs> he's running the other way now. Now he's dead. <laughs> what are they doing there? Are they trying to revive him? Get out the deep fit paddles, quick! <laughs> Why are they staying? This What's doesn't happening? make any sense. Even when they were told to retreat, they decided to have a little hoedown first. Dance party. I'll hiccup the target from the rear. Get to a sticky bomb. Uh oh. Are the mortars oh, going to be able to point blank fire at them? No, they're not. <laughs> I'd love it if he picked up the mortar and just fired it at him. I mean, like that um, British officer did it, Arnhem. Yeah. Oh, into an AT gun trap. Blitzkrieg. That's not going to help. He's trying to kill the AT gun as fast as possible. But I think this is a bad situation to be in. Oh, yeah, no, it is. It is. Another AT gun behind him. It's gone. It's a traffic man. stop. That's what it is. Get that AT gun. Oh, well, he did. Lost. But here come the storms. They're blitz. They're running in. It's gone. I think they expected the Panthers to, to have broken through the front there by the yeah. time mm. Sepha flanked around with the Tiger. But the Tiger wound up being all alone. The Panthers couldn't break through. These rockets. And the mortar just... still flying. So ridiculous. It's just. Right? Oh, that guy got blown apart! Oh, man, uh, that was an AT gun. Losing a victory point. It looked we like bottom parts. A victory point. Actually, no, there was a guy going blown apart. <laughs> just wasn't the was, guy I was looking at. That mortar is flying on the panther. It's a smart, it really smart wants to gunner. kill a tank. <laughs> it really wants to Soft and squishy target that's all bunched together. Ooh. That painter went flying. Wow, that should have destroyed them all, but they've got a couple of levels of vet. Here comes a bundle grenade. See you oh, later. Uh, I know you. May you rest in peace. Poor yeah, they're fellows. getting thrown they're around. Like, I love that. Like Battlefield 3, when, whenever something goes off, everything goes flying in every direction. Yeah. It did kind of look like he was trying to still load the mortar when he was dead. I haven't seen this much armor in a long time. Did that panther just fire three times? It did. It yes. missed fire. The crew is very confused. You killed a ranger oh, good. squad. Good oh. news. Hmm. The cursed bar pyos are back. <laughs> oh, thank God. To bring luck to those who need it? The yeah. salvaging a wreck of a Sherman. Uh, that's a good place to keep them. And they're healing a panther. Hmm. 
Oh, that is don't headbutt. charge straight head up first into a 18 gun. He desperately needs an equal or strike. something to take out that AT gun when it's sitting there. All his uh, storms are back in base. Now they're running. No! He's recruited the mortar, I think. Oh, he's got something. What the hell was that? You know, Saipaka has done a great job holding off all this godforsaken German mm. armor. Yeah, he doesn't really have much except the AT gun and some sticky bombs. Considering how heavy the armor's been in the veterancy level, he's doing amazingly well. What is that? Another tiger made it way forward. Another AT gun coming out. Although, oh, with only 122 tickets left, the Americans are facing a problem right now. Because the Germans will hold this center. It could be a problem. Oh, man. That AT gun. Wow. Arty Fight. Strike just killed everything. It almost killed an entire MG squad, but it couldn't mm. Great retreats from the artillery, I gotta say. Oops. Panther and Benton backing up opposite each other. Alright, Panther's out. Tiger, your turn. Get on stage. <laughs> he's doing it. <laughs> nope. He's Never thinking mind. about it. He's just gonna stare at that hedge now. He's like, I really want to crash you. I'm I like going how the front quit. of the tiger looks like... Oh, that's an extra tread. That's kind of... It's gonna crush all the hedges! Oh, but one. Yeah. <laughs> it's met by fire. Go. Tiger can no, now one-shot that AT gun back out. No, he missed. <laughs> He's gonna... He He's still it. running away with it. <laughs> but he hates it now. I know we're an anti-tank gun, and we're the direct counter to tanks, and the only thing attacking me is a tank, tank. but I'm yeah. gonna run. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see. Still gonna win. And here comes those tricked storm squads with the tricks. Oh, just one of them does they have a rifle bring... now. Why does he not reinforcing the storms before he sends them in? He hasn't got the pop cap for it. Oh, Ooh. wow, really? Wow, the map's been taken back. I didn't even know. Look at that. The five and the ten has been taken back. 100 points. Oh my down to god. Just send points. something down to the 10 at the bottom. Yeah. He off needs map. that pop cap. Ooh, off map. This is going to help him a lot. He got another AT gun and an M10. Look at that. And an M8. That's what he was waiting for. Here come the the, the phase shifting storms. <laughs> they are Oh, they're going to run into a world of hurt if they show themselves. That is bad news. I love how fast the M8 is. Look at it. Hey, oh god. Hello. That one squad, GTFO. Actually, he ran closer. That AT gun is very close to death. It really oh, is. Oh, the flames. What the hell? Um, these guys think <laughs> that Sepha should get Knight's Cross Holders? <laughs> I, I tend to agree, except he doesn't have the pop cap. <laughs> That was the weirdest real-time oh. feedback I've ever seen. <laughs> Since he can't possibly be watching the show. No, they were probably watching uh, Sepha stream it. Sepha streams all oh, of this Oh, I see. There you go. So I guess we found out who uh, Sepaka is. It's uh, Rocky. Gotcha. Really? <clears throat> wow, that kind of three times again. I've got shell shock now. Tons oh. loading AP rounds, he's loading blank shells, isn't it? <laughs> what? Armored I cars about to go down. I just love the fact that we've gone from M10s to AT guns, back to M10s, and now M10s and AT guns. Yeah, good mixture. Indeed. AT get well, I mean, the, it's, it, you definitely want both, because once mm. the yeah. AT guns start to damage something, the M10s can chase it down and kill it. This is very true, sir. Look at that panther, it's getting hit in the side. Woo! It's even got scuts, mate. Oh no, the M10's gonna chase it. No target next time in case it will go down. Well, <laughs> um, I'm gonna point out munitions points, opposite sides of the map's being taken. <laughs> he needs that Again. combat yeah. desperately. Panther is in trouble in the north. And here comes another M10. Yeah. So uh, it's it's got, got, it's got the storms up. trying to save it. <laughs> And they are gonna probably uh, get this M10. Oh, uh, 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 run him over! Run him over! Run him over! Oh, <laughs> in death! He is oh, prevailing. Vet three. <laughs> vet three doesn't matter when you're crashing into a hedge, sir. Fine, he's got back the middle. Sort of. Ah. Oh. 
god. Maybe not. Yeah, I think this he desperately is... now, instead of replacing that panther, should definitely get some knights cross. You have any idea if he had one Nebel, all those AT guns would be dead? Yeah, right? We've got nice cross are being built. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's so good. Oh, he, he is getting the 10 in the south. Look at that, Bridger. Yay. Yeah, look at feel? There, there is no real infantry on the field here for the Americans. They've got actually two rifles here. Okay, quick. Build Finally. a bunker, Pioneers, and build a machine gun in it. Or just hide in it. Or charge the rifles and then run away. Oh, the middle's being taken back? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. <sighs> he needs to build another aid station so he starts getting infantry back. That would help. I, I want to see you. the 710 in the middle go up to the north and run those pyos with that bar over. Mm. Where are the pyos going? Are they trying to cut off his fuel? I don't going know for what the VP, doing. probably. Going for the VP, yeah, yeah, yeah. This Get is this just dance moving in a whole nother direction. This is definitely one of the more balanced games I've seen. Yeah, <laughs> this is very, uh, point under very high play. The Germans are moving in. The VP is hey. ticking down. They are lowering the flag. <laughs> this, oh man, look at that low. Heavy, yeah, it's going for a bloke. <laughs> He's just, oh man. It's bouncing all over. <laughs> he's all flying over the terrain like he's driving on the moon. He'll get him though. Can he do it? Can he do it in time? Yep. It's pressed. Stopped it. Oh god, another off map? Look at that. Two mortars. Two mortars. Oh, god. Ow. Storm's in the middle. Oh, a couple of direct hits on that AT gun. And the flame squad for the win. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Direct Shrek shots are ridiculous. There's so many rockets, some are destined to get it. That AT gun could take one Direct Shrek and die. We'll have four, or two. Neither of them and are firing. You got to go in on the right-hand side to get the VP over here. That would take it down for the Germans. Oh, God. I think this is going to be the last offensive of the battle. I bet uh, Saipaka Rocky really wishes he went armor, because that Triple would be good. That infantry. Wow. I didn't even know that he got that. The there there goes the thing. Here come wow. two Knights Cross <clears throat> This is it. <clears throat> yep. The storms took all the damage and punishment early, and now the Knights Cross can chew it out. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Go bet. Squad nearly died. You really should rush that M10 in there and start running over those guys. Mm. What yeah, because the there's no there? more anti anti vehicle in there. Unless they've got Panzer Shrek, so. Uh, both VPs are controlled by the American dogs. Yeah, that's interesting. Huh? 50 VPs left. How did that Knight's Cross soldier they run through They picked up a I... Shrek! Knight's he Cross with a the... Shrek. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, they lost the other Knight's Cross? He's yep. retreating. He's losing just winning up the oh, there he is, yeah. We are losing yeah. a victory point. God, oh, they're gonna what drop is going to happen next? Of course they are. They are. That could spell disaster, even for a triple vet squad. Oh, come on. The first shell should always land where you um, designate the target. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a long enough of a come down I ratio. Think it should just, I think it should just cost less. Maybe. Or, I don't know. It just, I, I, if it's something that that's, that's it, at, it's so random that, you know, when it's, when it's good, it's really freaking good. And when it's bad, it's useless. That's super hard to balance. I'm going to point out again, Pyro's with Bars we have a threat to our in the middle. God, why? It's What's the same coming on the Panzer Command, bloke? Another Knight's Cross? You no, know, Oswind. Oh, come on now. Huh. <laughs> well, hey, that didn't work. What are my come on, they're, they're going to deploy an East Wind that just sounds like a food fart. It doesn't sound like a scared <laughs> unit. It means East Wind. Well, well, a smoke thrower, and that thing's yeah. pretty damn scary. <laughs> oh, tiger shot in the middle. Are capturing yeah. a sector. Look yes, at that up. crater in there. That's ridiculous. Wow, look at this. Both VPs are neutral except for one American held. <laughs> yeah. He took away the pioneer squad in the south to go and cap the strap point. Hmm. That's a bit weird. Jeez, Indeed. I don't know how this is going to end, to be honest. Right, I think... Either. Yeah, the Americans are definitely in trouble VP-wise, but they've been able to hold it for a long time. I don't think it's gonna end. <laughs> <laughs> They're still fighting it, even now. Yeah. Six weeks after oh. they 
double cap, double cap with Knight's Cross, would be Shrek. Oh God. <laughs> the same guys that almost got artillery there last time. They must be yeah. pretty brave. That's why they got the Knight's okay. Cross. Two VPs for Germans, one for Allies. They're ticking down. We've got to mm -hmm. make a move soon. Yeah, he is really oh, lucky that uh, Sefa did not build Nebels because he would not be able to bunch up his AT guns at all. Nice work by the AT gun shooting that hedge down so they can just get some line of sight on the ice cluster. Yeah. We're losing them as fast as we're getting them. Whoa! I forgot how long range the AT guns were. Oh, yeah. They're pretty ridiculous. Jeez. I think it's you like should be those mortars. Yeah. <laughs> they did get some nice rear armor hits in earlier. Oh, she's paying an AT gun. The American has 570 fuel. Crocodile tanks, go! Plus, we on the field, we've got the Lorian Crocodile. That'd be fantastic. Mm. You could go back in time and choose Armor Company instead of infantry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Rifleman picked up a bar. I've got destroyed. <laughs> now, let's see what the heck happens here. If they can take out that M10, Ostwin to the rescue. Look at those the guys is, sitting though. in the top of the tank so casually. Hey, what's up, Tiger? Oh, oh look at them team. taking the VP. Autobahn, this road is not. <laughs> Shrek squad. Blitzkrieg, here it comes. Knight Jeez. cross with the Shrek. Shrek. There goes M10. Yeah. It ran over an American. <laughs> it ran over an engineer. Threw him into the ocean. <laughs> oh, there goes the Austrian. I think down? They capped it. Did you even kill anything? No. It was a distraction. It was always a distraction. <laughs> East wind? That's a distraction. <laughs> uh, bar pioneers in the north capping VP. Ooh. They've done something. Wow. Artillery's actually hitting the tanks. <laughs> but no, the Americans had lost all. They lost their AT guns. He gives it's up. Not a engineer squad. Come on now. Oh. Wow. The Americans have nothing on the field right now except a, a single flame engineer. Yeah. <laughs> that was a massive counterattack. What did he have? One, two, three AT guns. He had at least one bar squad, one flame engineer, and oh, an M10. Him. And they just got flattened. I think, to be honest, where that Shrek squad is right now with that with the one man Shrek, with all those bodies, man, should be the thumbnail of the actual video. <laughs> <laughs> That's your Axis propaganda up. video right there. <laughs> the one guy with the Shrek standing triumphantly over the bodies of riflemen, actually standing triumphantly in the body of a rifleman. Yep. Oh, Fritz, that's, Sadly, that's though. disgusting. Get your foot out of there. <laughs> you don't you know if that's American's bean. <laughs> All right. It was a nice cross body, actually, in front of an AT gun. <laughs> so that was a very tough call. The Americans did a fantastic job harassing the North, but somehow they kept, they, they stopped losing, they, they lost something. What did they lose? They lost the veterancy Everything. advantage at some point. They just yeah. lost lots True. of units and they had to keep replacing them over and over again. Mm. Yeah, that was an incredible game. It was just, it, Basically, it was a war of attrition. Yeah, it really was. There wasn't a whole lot of maneuvering going on there. Very true. Whew. Whew. 202 to 30. I gotta say, pretty damn oh, wow. awesome. Indeed. Sorry, I'm gonna point out, you see the arty shot behind the two panthers? Or the panther and the tiger? There's a pyo just flying out. <laughs> God. <laughs> that's, that's just rude. I do not... Oh, there he is. Hey! hey. <laughs> Whee! Can I go again? Yeah, except uh, it's not a pleasant experience. It's no, more like a neck-breaking. Yeah. I suppose not. <laughs> All right, well, <clears throat> I guess that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll try to have another one of these for you in a couple of weeks, and uh, we'll post it on there on the Sound Strategy Network channel on YouTube, obviously. If you do have any interest at all in our other show, Tales of Tyria, head on over to talesoftyria.com to check that out or just watch it on the screen here on the same YouTube channel you're watching right now. And, uh, of course, Tales of Tyria is a Guild Wars 2 podcast. The game's not out yet, but we're doing a whole lot of great discussion topics about the game and discussing what it might have, what we hope it has, and all of the things that we do know about it and giving you some great, entertaining shows. So, episode 5, actually, we are recording today, fairly soon. So, with that, I am Bridger for Rogers and Sunbloke, signing off. Have a good day, everybody.